Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is super exciting because I am filming on my brand new Canon Rebel T6i camera. I'm so freaking excited that I finally have a nice camera that I can just like actually film with. I'm so freaking excited. Um, I have been figuring out the settings for about a week now. I think I have them correct. I could be totally wrong. If anything's off, I'm sorry, I'm working on it. Trust me, it bothers me more than it does you. So for today's video, I'm gonna be trying out a whole bunch of new drugstore makeup. This stuff is all very recently released. Some of it I've already tried and have some thoughts on, some of it's brand new to me. Yeah, um, for the stuff that is brand new to me, I will update you on my thoughts in a later video, um, unless it's very clear in the video, which there are a few products that it's very clear my feelings on them. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys like this video and without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I already washed, moisturized, all of that junk. Um, I primed my other under eyes with the e.l.f. hydrating under eye primer. Freaking love this stuff. If you haven't seen my uh, haul update, or my haul, I'll link them both up here. I do that every time. It's up here. Um, so that you can hear me absolute rave about this stuff because it's fantastic. So, <clears throat> I'm trying to get better about using, about not using a new primer with a new foundation. So today, we're going in with a new primer and a foundation that I've been using for a couple weeks, but it's also new at the drugstore. Um, so this is the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Lift and Firm Primer. So it says it's going to moisturize and tighten facial contours. I saw this in the store and I was like, I'm sorry, what? Like, I'm gonna need to put that on my face immediately because if that works, well, I'm gonna be feeling myself. So, I do feel fairly moisturized, maybe a little oily. I don't know how I feel about that. It kind of like is sitting on the skin. Um, it's very tacky though, that's nice. Obviously, I don't notice any uh, tightening. Is it supposed to happen immediately? Maybe I don't really notice anything, but I mean, it's moisturizing at least, so. So I'm gonna go in with the Physicians Formula, the Healthy Foundation. Um, this is fairly new at the drugstore, it just launched like a couple of weeks ago. Um, I have the shade LC1, which is of course too dark for me because, you know, that's life. Um, I used this in another video a couple of weeks ago, I think it was my Valentine's Day video maybe. Um, this oxidizes really badly on me. Um, but I figured it's been a couple weeks since then, so I could give y'all some final thoughts on it. Okay, so here is the foundation with one layer on. It's definitely like low medium coverage. Um, you can see pretty much everything coming through. All of my acne, all my scars, all my freckles, everything's coming through. Um, this oxidizes immediately, immediately on me. Like before I even blend it out, it's turning orange, which kind of sucks. Um, even the beginning shade is way too dark for me, so <sighs> it's just kind of annoying. But you know, that's just how Physicians Formula works. They don't really understand that there's people outside of medium skin tones. So I'm going to build this up a little bit. Because I want just a touch more coverage. Okay, so I don't actually have a new drugstore concealer to try out. So to keep things even, I'm just going to go in with the Maybelline uh, Instant Age Rewind in Fair, which used to be the lightest shade, though it is no longer the lightest shade, but I have not picked up the lightest shade yet. <laughs> okay, so now that that is done, I'm going to go in with a new powder, which I am so freaking excited about. This is the Flower Beauty Miracle Glow Satin Finishing Powder. So this is supposed to give the face an all-over luminous glow, which we all know is what I'm constantly searching for. 
Um, I'm hoping that this will give like a some sort of effect similar to the um, Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders. That would be freaking awesome. It comes in this like massive container but like this is all top <laughs> and this is the powder you get just this little cylinder bit. How much powder is actually in here? Does it tell me? A third of an ounce. Yeah. Not too bad I suppose. So it comes with the little bluff. Okay, so it has like a slight camera. Focus. Focus. It has a slight peachy tint to it. It's a little dark. By the way, this uh, foundation already has a nice satiny, dewy type of finish. Okay, I'm not seeing any sort of like illuminating property. Maybe I'm missing it. I mean, it doesn't look bad on the skin. It just doesn't look illuminating. Actually, it looks more mattified than the non-powdered side. I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier puff because I don't like that puff. It's like really stiff and weird. Okay, I don't know how I feel about that powder. I really don't look illuminated. I look a lot more matte than I did before. Um, it's a very soft powder. Like, my face is really soft now um, and I think it really helped like fill in some of my texture but it's not illuminating which kind of sucks because that's what I wanted um, also I hate this packaging it's kind of a bitch to deal with um, I don't love it it's also really cheap plastic it feels like a Barbie toy so from there I have a dupe for the um, Benefit box blushes and bronzers so Hard Candy came out with these Fox in a Box uh, face powders. So I got the bronzer, which is called Party Girl. It's their Marbleized Baked Bronzer. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It is, it's the Benefit Box Blush. Let's be honest here. Um, it comes with the little brush, um, which obviously I'm never going to touch. Um, and then this is what the product looks like. If it wants to focus, maybe. Um, there, all of the, hello, hello, hi. <laughs> um, all of the shades have a different scent to them. So this one is chocolate, I believe. It smells like when you open up a hot, uh, hot cocoa packet and it's that, like fake powdery chocolate. So let's see. Oh, that is... I don't know if that's going to work. I'm already so orange. This might be a terrible idea, but screw it. So I'm going to go in with this in the shade Party Girl. Real pigmented. Oh, it's actually really nice. It's very smooth. It blends out easily. It's not orange like it looked in the swatch or anything. It's definitely very pigmented though, so you gotta go in with a super light hand. But that's really nice. It's almost acting as a contour as well, which is nice. That's a really nice bronzer. I really like that. I don't mind it. Um, I think this was like eight bucks, maybe. Um, obviously, the packaging is like super cute. It's got like a little girl on it. It's got some graphics happening all over it. It's cute. I like it. It's a nice powder. So for the last thing on the face, um, if you saw my husband buys my makeup challenge i used a rainbow highlighter in there which was an experience 
but I really liked the formula on it and so I wanted to try the regular color. So this is the Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter in Molten Rose Gold. This friggin highlighter is so pretty. Oh, I'm so freaking excited to put this on my face. Oh, I need blush. What am I gonna do for blush? I don't have blush. Let me just go in with. I'm gonna go in with the uh, LA Girl Just Blushing Blush and Just Playful. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the highlighter. Again, this is in rose gold. All right, seems to be a fairly stiff product, which I appreciate. That's really pretty. Wow glow and it's not like glittery or chunky or anything it's just a beautiful wet sheen on the skin that's really nice that might that might become top drawer <laughs> okay moving on to the eyes I have a palette also by hard candy they came out with a lot of new stuff this month um this, I'm assuming, is supposed to be a dupe for the Huda Beauty, uh, what's that newest one she came out with? Or, I guess it's the, be the uh, Rose Gold. I have not tried that palette, so I can't tell you comparison on them, um, but I can tell you that I know for a fact that I really like, um, Hard Candy's formula. So, this is what it looks like in all its, its beautiful glory um so you've got you've got nine shimmers and six mattes the first two rows are shimmers except for this pink and then all of this is matte so i need to clear my desk a little bit um i'm going to prime my eyes like i always do with the irma decay primer potion in original okay now we're gonna go with the palette um, and I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Crease Brush. And I'm going to take this beigey color. It's basically just beige. It's a little bit darker than my skin tone. Actually, I'm going to scoot in. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Hopefully, y'all be able to see what I'm talking about. Because I can do that now. Okay, and then next I'm going to take the shade next to it, which is this pinky shade, on the same brush and do the same thing with it. Okay, and then next I'm going to take the Morphe M518, just because it's a little more pinched and precise. And I'm going to take the dark red in the palette, just a little bit of it. The shadows aren't like immensely pigmented, but they get the job done. <laughs> that makes any sense. And I'm going to focus that really tightly into the crease and the outer corner. This is much lighter on the eye than it is in the pan. It's a very like deep maroon shade in the pan. Um, and it's just not building up to the intensity that I envisioned for this. Okay, so because that wasn't really giving me the intensity that I'm looking for, um, I'm going to go back in with like a stiffer pencil brush and see if I can pick up more and see if I can deepen it. I'm going to try make it, mixing in some of the um, black shade with it to see if that helps at all. I'm adding this in very slowly because I don't want it to get out of hand with that black. Okay, 
This is not working. It's taking a lot to get this black to blend out. It does not want to move. It just wants to sit there and laugh at me for my mistakes. Okay, this is just not blending out at all. The black is just sitting there. Which is interesting because I don't have this problem with their other palette. This is the All Matte palette. I don't have this problem with this palette. This is one of my favorite palettes that I own. Um, it's got a black in it. The black's really nice. It blends out easily. I don't know why this um, formula seems to be different from this one. But not a huge fan of this. But we'll keep moving anyways. I'm not going to worry about keep trying to blend it out or anything. I'm just going to move on. So I'm going to put one of these shimmer shades. Let's go with the pinky one here. Right here. It looks like it might almost be like duochrome. I'm probably going to need to go in with this wet, but we'll try it dry first. It's very powdery. Definitely going to need a wet. Before I go in with wet, I'm actually going to go in with the NYX Glitter Primer on uh, underneath it, just to be safe. This, uh, this is not working. And this is after I wet it. Um, it's like chunky and patchy and all right the second layer helped a little bit so it's pretty patchy though okay so that is with try and focus yeah that's with the glitter primer and wetting it um okay so here it is with one layer versus the two i don't know if you can see but this one is like really, really patchy. Let me see. Can you see it? I don't know. So really quick for the bottom lash line, I'm going to keep it fairly simple. And I'm just going to take the beige shade and then the pinky shade and just smudge that all over. Okay, I'm going to put that face highlighter on the inner corner. Okay, I have a few more products left. We're almost done. We're at the end stretch here. End stretch. Stretch. What is that saying? I don't know. Doesn't matter. So, for mascara, I'm going to go in with the new Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara. This has been all over Instagram, and I have been very curious. So, it's got a super fluffy wand. This is not my usually usual favorite because I get these all over my face but we'll see if it does anything for my lashes okay so here is one coat versus no mascara definitely looks nice I don't know if it looks any different than any other mascara that I have but it looks nice okay so now this is one coat versus two um the second coat definitely helped define them a little bit more oh by the way I don't curl my lashes I don't even know a lash curler so if you do this will probably look a little bit different on yours so I definitely like the mascara as of right now but mascaras are one of the few things that I have to try out multiple times sometimes it takes me weeks to figure out my thoughts on them so um, I will update on that one in particular in a little while. This is not drying. God, it's creating a mess. Okay. I'm gonna try and stop like moving around so much and just let this dry for a minute. Okay, so while I wait for that to try and finish up, um, I'm gonna do my brows. So I've got the Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Definer in Deep Brown. This is the darkest shade they have, which is kind of annoying because obviously I dye my hair black. And I like my brows to be black as well. Um, and I like a very cool tone of black. So for a company to not have any sort of cool toned, super dark um, brow shades, it's 
kind of annoying. Um, oh, that's interesting. This is like a diamond shape. Hmm. Never seen that before. Anyway, it's got this cute little stubby spoolie. It's super tiny and adorable. I'm trying to figure out the best way to use this, and I'm really not sure what that is. Okay, so there's one brow done. Uh, this is definitely a little bit more warm toned than I usually like, but it's not as bad as I was expecting, which is good. Um, it's definitely not as creamy as I prefer. I'm finding it just a little bit difficult to get the amount of color off that I like. Um, I'm definitely finding it, it's easy to get like a really rough shape down, but it's a little bit harder to do like the the tail and like the more specific details a little bit harder with this shape because it is pretty fat in the middle but maybe after I use it a couple times it'll wear down and be a little bit better maybe it's actually not bad I don't mind it um, I like the color it's growing on me it definitely works better now um, now that my roots are pretty grown out than it would when my hair is like freshly dyed but I like it I don't mind it it's good quick everyday type of brow okay so we are done we are at the very end I have one more product left this is the Milani lipstick in Rose Femme this is not new but it's new to me and I've never tried their lipstick so I felt like it um, this is their I think this is supposed to be like their comfort satin um, lipstick. I'm pretty sure this was not their matte because I usually try and avoid that. Okay, so I just lined my lips really quickly, just lined with the NYX lip liner in mauve. Now I'm going to go with lipstick. Oh, what does this smell like? God, I'm just having so many problems with scents today. It smells like a fruity candy or gum or something. It smells really nice. Okay, so this is definitely not a uh, new color for me. This is pretty much my everyday type of lipstick color, but I really like this formula. It's very creamy and comfortable and it's nice. So this is the final look of all of this new drugstore stuff put to, te put to the test. So if you guys liked today's video, let me know down below if there's anything else that I need to try out, what you think of the lighting, the sound, all of that, if I need to change anything. And yeah, please subscribe if you haven't already. I'll catch you in the next one.